This is Math 151. Off of page 107, that's section 2.3, we're going to do number 28 right now. Right here, right now. And we're going to find the limit of this function as h approaches 0. And notice if I just plug in 0 for h, I'm dividing by 0, so can't do much with that. But um, let me manipulate this. I'm going to clean this thing up a bit. So I'm just going to manipulate that here down, down below. So I have, I'm just going to rewrite it first. Uh, 3 plus h to the negative 1 minus 3 to the negative 1. And those, uh, remember, a, a negative exponent just takes a reciprocal. So this is the same as 1 over 3 plus h minus 1 over 3. And OK, not bad. So what I can do now then, what I could do next is uh, combine these fractions. I'm subtracting them. But I need a, I need a common denominator in order to do this. So um, notice this has a 3 plus h in it. This one doesn't. So I'm going to multiply this one by... Uh, this version of 1 it, to make those denominators match. And this one needs to get multiplied by this version of 1, by, by 3 over 3. So if I do that multiplication, uh, 3 times 1 is 3. And that's going to be over. I'm not going to combine them, just 3 times. I'll just leave it factored. Minus 1 times that is just that, 3 plus h. And notice I'm subtracting that whole thing. So that negative is going to get distributed into there. So what I'm going to end up with is, since they have the same denominator, I can combine them. 3 minus 3 minus h over 3 times 3 plus h. And let's see here, 3 minus 3 is 0. So this is negative h divided by 3 times 3 plus h. So that is what my that's what my numerator becomes. This this thing right here. So let me rewrite what I have so far. So limit as h approaches zero. I didn't mess with the denominator at all. And the numerator becomes negative h over three times three plus h. Great. So now let me think about this. So I have negative h over 3 times 3 plus h divided by h. And notice I have a, a fraction divided by this thing. Like I could rewrite this to, to think of it as uh, negative h 3 times 3 plus h divided by h means the same thing. And dividing by h is the same as multiplying by, by 1 over h. So now I could also think of this as times. 1 over h, which is great. So uh, h is divide out, which leaves me negative 1 over 3 times 3 plus h. So let me rewrite what I have now. Limit um, as h approaches 0, negative 1 over 3 times 3 plus h. And now if I, if I do some direct substitution, I won't be dividing by 0. So let me do that. I'm just going to plug, let h be 0. Negative 1 over 3 times 3 plus 0. Negative 1 over 3 times 3, which is negative 1 ninth. 